question three. So the range of times, so that's the highest, take away the lowest. So 68, take away, what have we got here? Seven. So there we go, there's a nice mark. Right. Find the interval quartile range of the time. So that, that's the upper quartile, take away the lower quartile. So 25, take away 14. There we are, 11, all right. Right, part C, calculate the mean time taken to complete the puzzle. So that's the sum of x, so it's this number, divided by 27, because there were 27 people. So we just work that value out, okay? So that's going to give us 22.5. Okay, now we need to calculate standard deviations of the time to complete the puzzle. So, to work out the standard deviation, obviously we don't know the individual time. So, if we knew the individual times, we could just plug that into our calculator, let it do all the work for us. Now, we are told formula for standard deviation. So, it's the sum of x squared over n take away x bar squared. So, if you just feed in our numbers, look, we've got this, we've got n, we've just worked out this over here. Remember, it's that value squared. And if you do that, you end up getting 12.1. Okay. Now, we define an outlier as a value more than three standard deviations above the mean. So therefore, let's think about what value is three standard deviations above the mean. So if we do 22.5 plus 3 lots of 12.1 and that gives us a value of 58.8. So now let's go and have a look to see how many values are above 58.8. There's only one, right? So 58.8 is sort of around there somewhere. So there's only one. So how many are above? So it's just one above that figure. So therefore, there is one outlier. Right, now we've got Adam and Beth also completed the puzzle in, so we've got, so, so let's say, so we've got Adam, so it's A, and we've got Beth and B. And we also know Adam took longer than Beth. Right, we're told that the median time increases. The mean time does not change. So if the mean time does not change, then I need to have two points that are equal, equal distance around 22.5. So, because it's 22.5 at the moment. So I've got to go an equal distance to make sure that they don't change. So for example, maybe 23 and 22. So that would work. But I wonder how far out we could actually come. Now remember the other thing that we're told is that the medium time increases. So at the moment, the median is 20. So therefore my lowest time must be, if it's more than 20, what it's gonna cause is it's gonna cause that median to increase. So we actually, the lowest of these times, the lowest needs to be more than 20. All right, so as long as we pick two numbers, either side of 22.5, and the lowest value has to be more than 20. All right, oh, and we should really define we've got so that would be Adam, that would be Beth, and then part G. So without carrying out any further calculations, explain why the standard deviation of all 29 times would be low. So we're going to include those two extra values. What's going to happen to the standard deviation? Well, let's imagine we took the maximum that it could be, sort of like the, the 20 and, and 25. Okay. So obviously I know it would need to be more than that, but let's just say it's 20 and 25. So if that was the case, they are both quite close to the mean. They are both within one standard deviation of 
for me. So they're not very far spread out. They're quite close together. So what that's going to have, it's going to have the, the effect of a smaller standard deviation. Okay, so this is the key point. Is because they're both quite close, then it's going to force that overall standard deviation to then be slightly smaller if we're including those values.